Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I will show you how we can use Motion. Motion is a productivity tool with full of features and I'm really excited uh, to show it to you. But right before that, I made a free masterclass in which I'm teaching you how you can be more productive and effective in your life and also in your work. And you can find a link down below in the description. It's completely for free and I'm just sharing there my tips, what is helping me to uh, get the goals and everything in my life. So let's start now with the tutorial. In a moment, when you will create your own account, you will get right here in motion and you're going to find multiple things here. So let's just first understand the dashboard and then I'm going to show you how we are going to start. So first you're going to have the calendar in calendar. You're going to find tasks here that you can enter to your calendar and you would have like overview here and everything uh, like together. And I will show you how we can add tasks and all of that. Then you're going to have next to the calendar. You can have projects and tasks here. This is my favorite place because you can find all your projects here. You can have options to also have a Kanban style of, uh, let's say by priority, by status, by everything. Just, you can like play around with it, like workspace. Uh, so even this thing here is really cool. And then you're going to have a booking here. This is the last thing I'm going to show you in this video on how you can create your own booking for meetings, let's say, or when someone wants to book a time with you, you can just choose it right here and optimize it. So it's really effective. So now what we're going to do is that first I'm going to show you how we can use the calendar and what we're going to find here. So adding a task is simple. There are two ways how we can do it. The first way is when you would press here, add a task, or you would press control and space, and then you're going to add a task name. So my task name is going to be record or video or let's say contact a sponsor right now right here i'm going to show you you can have the my tasks here so these are the let's say the workspace or even the projects that you can have then i'm going to work here and when i'm in a work which is the workspace i am gonna have the project which is productive universe so let's say that you're gonna have a workspace which is going to be personal and then you're going to have uh, the, like the project, which is going to be called, I don't know, cat or car, whatever. So let's say that you would use something like that too. Contact a sponsor. Then we're going to have the duration. So let's say this is going to be the short task a reminder or not. And I'm not sure. It's like up to you. Let's say I'm going to have 15 minutes. And when you're going to create it, you can have also the priority here. So you're going to have ASAP or high or low or medium. So we're going to choose the priority. Now, when I'm going to have the high or even medium, you see that we have the deadline type, which is going to be the hard deadline, soft deadline, or no deadline at all, or even low here. So try to do within, let's say one week, but let's say that I have it medium and I have soft deadline and I want to it for Tuesday. And then you have the start date. So when it starts, let's say it starts tomorrow. And then you can have the schedule work hours, right? So we can have day, night, anytime, and you can add your own schedule if you want to. So this is how pretty much um, like the task works. Then you can have it like one time here or have it, have it a recurring. So that's something you can have. So not only that you can have your own uh, task as a one time, but here you would set it up for a recurring if it's let's say a meeting with a team. So for meeting in a team that I would have like the morning start in which I would be talking about, okay, what everybody's planning for, I would have the recurring uh, like task right here. And I would have the frequency, which would be, let's say once a week, once every two weeks or once a month, which days I want to have it. And then also duration, let's say 15 minutes when it starts, well, let's say this would be like 30 minutes. And then uh, I would just set up the times here and that's pretty much it. Right. But right now we are going to just leave it for one time. But I just wanted to mention that you can have it for recurring too. Then I'm going to schedule it. Okay. So right now when we have it, I'm going to have it right here, contact a sponsor. 
Now, what you can do is, let's say I can make it longer. If it's going to be for two hours, I just moved it. Or what I can do is that you can create a task directly in your calendar. So when I'm going to press it right here, it will automatically create a time block of 15 minutes and you can have it as an event or you can have it as a task. So task is going to be uh, call my mom. Just making it up, right? Call my mom. It's out of schedule tasks and it's going to be for my tasks and it will automatically create. So that's how the tasks works and also how we can add them to your calendar. Now, what you can have also is to move here and play around with with your meetings, right? And that's pretty much it. Now, also what I wanted to show you is that when I'm going to have the contact the sponsor, what I can have is to add a time to a task or I can start that I'm actually working right now on the sponsor. So when I went here for the three dots, here you would find a start task. And on the top right, this would appear this banner, which will automatically show you that, okay, you're working on a task, this one. And then I can just like press and cancel it. So that's something you can do, or you can change it, do it ASAP. And then when you're going to have it ASAP, we'll try to schedule this task before all other tasks. Divide this task into chunks to start doing it earlier. So that's something you can do. And what, I, what happened right now? I put it to ASAP and these tasks right now, I have it as an ASAP. It moved from Tuesday. So right now it's 2 p.m. It automatically moved right here. So this is like a really smart thing. It will automatically move because I want to make it ASAP. So if I would have a tasks there, it would schedule it to somewhere else, like beneath that, let's say. So if I understand it correctly, of course, because I don't really use it that much of this feature, but it's a super cool thing, right? So that's about the calendar. Now, if you can have any questions, let me down below in the comments. And I hope I wasn't too fast for you. Now let's go for the projects and tasks. And now we are in a projects and tasks. So here is where the fun begins for me. And I, what I really like is that right here on the left side, you're going to have the workspace. So let's say that I'm going to add a new workspace, which is going to be personal. Right. And right now in my personal, I don't have any projects. So let's say that in my personal, I'm going to top right. I'm going to click add a project. What you can of course do is to click here on the templates. And if you can have template here, oh, you can like just add it here, right? So add a project and project name is going to be personal growth. And then when I'm going to have it, this is my project. On left side, you're going to have some rich text here. And that's pretty much it. Now, as you can see, we created ourselves a new, new workspace and also a new project. Now, what I want to just quick show you, don't click anywhere, is that if I would go to calendar and if I'm going to press a new task, I can see right now the workspace of personal and the project of personal growth. You, you understand it, right? So now I can add tasks directly next to my calendar, just connect it to my projects and tasks. So in a moment when I'm going to add a task name right here, let's say meditation for tomorrow. And I would come here to projects and tasks. I would click on personal. The meditation is going to be right here. So you, you get it how it works right now a little bit deeper and a little bit better, right? Now, when I'm going to have it and when I have my personal growth, the meditation, I have the auto scheduled if I want to have it or like backlog or not started or completed. Priority, if it's going to be a sub high, medium, low. Duration, I can always change that. Also when it's scheduled, uh, blockers and assignee, right? Then also I can click plus here and I can add a new task. And again, I would just edit everything on the right. So you can uh, like change and edit the tasks directly in the project, or you can use it in the calendar. But I really like how clean it is in projects. Now, when I'm going to press the Kanban here, 
In Kanban, what I also like is that right here you would get um, everything. So what do I mean by that is that you can easily categorize it and play around with it where you want. So here I'm going to group it by label. I can group it by priority or even status. So all of that you can change right here. So you can have it directly as a project or uh, just tasks, sort by assignee, status, label, just, just task on the top right. And you can have all the settings right here. So you have even uh, the Kanban style here now. I can create, click here on add a, add a task again. And the same thing, you would have everything on the right side about how you can, what you can add, what you can do here. So I hope that even the projects and tasks is much more clearer to you on how you can use it, because that's pretty much <laughs> from me on, on how simple it is. And then as you can see, you're going to find the tasks with, without a project here too. So that's something you can use also. So now let's go to booking. In booking, you're going to find two options. The first thing is you can manually choose times in which you would drag a time slot that someone can uh, like schedule with you. So every day, let's say that I'm going to for Monday from 10 to 1 p.m. and first day too. And also let's go for Friday like this. And now what I will do is on the left, you see the duration. We have 30 minutes or I can have like, let's say 45 minutes. And would any of these uh, windows work for our meeting? It will automatically create a text for you and you can have clickable time slots or even allow multi-use. So I will copy the message. Okay. Now, when I would just paste it in Notepad, let's say, or somewhere, let me show you, like here. And I'm going to copy it. And this is how it looks like. So right now we have these two days and person can choose it and just add a name and email. So this is how it works when you can have it like clickable. Now, when I go even further, what you can do is so you can create a booking link and you can have work hours, night, day, anytime. So I can add even custom or add a schedule. So I can add a schedule in which people can Let's say like Monday and we're going to work for Friday, Wednesday and Friday like this. So you can create your own schedule. Man, wet Friday. Okay. And we have right now our own schedule that we created for, let's say, consultation or meetings. Date range, show availability for the next, let's say, six months and only show availability starting uh, from tomorrow. Then requirements. So uh, attendance requirements will check for conflict from all selective calendars. So if I got to have like all the calendars, I would see it right here. And then the buffer time prevents back to back meetings. You can have it 15 minutes, 30 minutes. That's completely up to you. Maybe number of meetings per day. So we can have, let's say we can have only two a day and priority. So uh, we can have it like book over all events, including meetings, book over motion tasks or normal respect all events. So it's going to be also be like combined together with your calendar and projects and tasks. Then even the details, even name. So we can have it as yes, user interview. Then we can have like how long you want to have it. Let's say it's going to be for 60 minutes. And then we can have location. If it's going to be custom location, Zoom phone number, let's say. And who is the host? And who is the guest? Now, when you will have it, the last thing is like the booking link. And then what you can do is you can edit our questions here. So you can add multiple questions that you can ask a person who is going to have a meeting with you. So I can add a question and have like single line and you can really play around with the questions too. I hope it's uh, much better to understand now how you can use it 
is that you can everything together. My recommendation would be even when you're going to start a booking, just test it out with the calendar and projects and tasks, how it's going to appear there. Just play around with it for a while. Now I'm going to save it and then send a reminder before meeting, let's say 30 minutes before, and you can edit the message right here. Now template name, let's say this is going to be uh, meeting. And I'm going to create a template. So right now I have the meeting right here and I will open it. Now when I'm going to open it, as you can see, we have the Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I'm going to press here for 10 a.m. name. OK, schedule event. OK, and we have the user interview with Marcus with me. An invite has been sent to my email. I don't know if I'm going to have a uh, like directly in the calendar because I think I have to also uh, accept it. Oh, here it is. Look at this. Marcus, Marcus user interview. And what we can find here, we have the meet here. We have the guests here. And that's pretty much it. So as you can see, it works as intended. And we can find it in our calendar. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video was beneficial to you on your journey using motion and how we can uh, use it. Of course, you can find the default view here, conference settings, and you can connect your Zoom and also the Google Meet. Then you're going to have the time zones, schedule, and then you can edit notifications, even desktop app right here that you can download, and then integrations using Zapier. So for projects and tasks, when you would go on the bottom left in uh, settings, you're going to find auto scheduling. So the task manager checks for conflicts from your calendars group. To modify this group, go to calendars page in settings. So this is something that you can do. Focus time. And then the workspaces that you can add and change if you want to. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope. I helped you a little bit on your journey. If you can have any questions, guys, let me down below in the comments and have a great day and goodbye.